Hi everybody, I'm back today with a product review and what I'm going to review for you today is Soda Stream. Okay, this is my Soda Stream. I bought it myself off Amazon. It wasn't gifted. It's, this isn't an affiliate or anything like that. I bought my Soda Stream at the beginning of September this year and when I, I, I toyed with the idea for a while, to be quite honest, was was I going to use it? Was I not going to use it? And I have definitely used it through the summer months. We would be using it like two and three times a day, even more. As it comes into the colder months, we're using it sort of twice a day. And each bottle, this bottle holds 840 milliliters. So there's quite a lot in a bottle and it really is helping me drink water. But I think for me, the biggest point of this was, you know, all of the things that are happening in the environment with plastics and microplastics. I kind of looked at our household and thought, you know, can I make a difference? Can I take out buying bottles of Diet Coke and bottles of tonic and tins of fizzy orange? And the answer to that is, yes, I can. And, you know, since we've bought the soda stream, we've not actually bought any of those things, which is a bit of a revelation. So for me, it was a really good investment. And I am so happy that I decided to buy it. If you keep watching, it shows you a little bit more about the soda stream, how it works and the ins and outs of it all. And I also talk about the refillable gas cylinder that you get with it as well. So watch and enjoy. And um, I will catch up with you all very soon. Bye. Okay, so here is my soda stream. I bought black, but you can get any color that you like. Um, when you buy it, it actually comes with its first gas cylinder and its first gas cylinder is here and what you do is you screw that into the machine and then just pop the cover back and basically from that point you're just ready to go. My gas cylinder lasted me from the beginning of September to the end of October. This is the empty one here and what I did was I actually went on to SodaStream and SodaStream actually sent me out a new bottle in a box here and what I've got to do is put the empty cylinder in the box return it to them and I get my um, it's like a bottle deposit so I think it was ten pound I'll get back off the cost of this so that needs reposting back to soda stream now with my soda stream I have been using this for the diet cork and this for tonic. Graham has gin and tonic. I, I can't stand gin and tonic, but this is what he's been using. Again, it takes a little bit of fiddling around to get the tonic taste you like, but that's what he's been using. This Diet Coke I absolutely love, really love. So this is what I've swapped my Coke over to. And then to be quite honest, in between, I've just been using these like super concentrated shots. You know, they're as good as anything, to be quite honest. So I got a couple of those just to do some flavoured fizzy water, to be quite honest. But these are really, with them being double strength, they work really well in this. And then I also bought two half litre bottles as well, because if I want sort of to make up a smaller batch of cork, it's handy for to take it into a smaller bottle rather than it going off. So I've got two sort of half litres as well, which really do come in handy. And then all you actually do is fill up the bottle to the line. There's the line there. And then it really depends on how fizzy you want your water. So pull a little over forward, then put in your bottle. Now one press gives you um, sort of um, a fizzy, like you would buy San Pellegrino, a fizzy water. If you double press it, it'll give you a super fizzy. I always just press mine single now, so here goes be a lot of noise. You can hear that sort of st and that is when you release the button. So if you want to add another shot, then you just add another shot. You can make it really and tailor it to where you want. And for me, you've just got to play around with that to decide where you want it. The bottle automatically locks itself in, as you can hear that there. So again, just make sure the bottle is pushed up, push it back, let go, and it will. it's in there securely. You don't need to fiddle around twisting it or anything like that. Just push it in and take it out, release, but always push this back because that resets it for the next time. And obviously they all come with a lid as so. And 
again that's basically it there isn't a lot to it to be honest but it has been a great great find for me and if I had to rate it out of 10 definitely a 10 for me um, and that is it um, this is actually on my Amazon shop I will link it wherever you're watching this review and I hope you enjoyed it bye